there, Miss Christina in Maker Exchange over at the Corona Public Library, bringing episode three of video editing. And today we will be doing a music video using only copyright free materials. So first I wanna show you a few places that I went to to get 100% copyright free materials. The first place, I am very careful when I use YouTube, but I did use it in this case. If you choose to go to YouTube for copyright free materials, you want to triple check that it's truly copyright free. I have seen music be written that it was copyright free when it was clearly owned by Disney. So you just want to be careful because the actual owners can do a cease and desist as well as a lawsuit, not just the person who posted it. So with white sand, we can see down below that they are very clear. This is completely free for you to use on your project. Sometimes you want to double check in case it's vague, contacting them and getting in writing that you can use the material for X, Y, and Z. For example, with the Star Wars trailer that I am working on right now, I contacted the composer of the song I wanted to use and let them know exactly what the song was going to be used for, how much of the song was going to be used, and the platforms, every single platform that we were going to be posting on and got written confirmation that we can use their song for that particular project. So here, it's very open. You can just use the music. Some places they will tell you that it is copyright free, but it is only copyright free for YouTube and you need to pay in order to use it on Instagram or YouTube. So you just want to be careful of that. So I had downloaded this song by White Sand, their song Glory, and you can see in the title, it does not say copyright free. So this is where I went down and read and double checked that it is in fact copyright free. And if you have any questions about copyright free versus royalty free, I suggest that you do a quick Google search or actually use YouTube to have a lawyer explain the differences for you. Some other locations that you can get free copyright free materials is Mixkit, Freesound, which is a favorite of mine, and Pixels. Today's example is using only video footage from Pixels. What I like about them is that when you go to download, it actually gives you all of the information immediately after for you to copy and paste who and what you need to credit. So whenever you are using somebody's footage, whether it be music or video or photo, I highly suggest that you always give credit to the creator, even if they say you do not need to. Reason being is years down the line, you have a YouTube channel and you have this video that you have completely forgotten about and the creators of the footage that you use said you don't have to give credit, but years later, they're saying you need to give credit. So this will just assure that you have all of your bases covered. There are other places that you can get materials. Some do require a monthly fee some require a one-time fee, and some of them are 100% free. You just want to double check before you download. So here's all the footage that I have downloaded. And everything that we have from Pixels is called B-roll or filler. So with most music videos, you're going to actually be at, or you're going to actually be editing a performance. In this case, I have copyright free music and copyright free B-roll. So I'm kind of combining somebody else's music with somebody else's footage to create a story. If you have a performance that you're editing, the research I have done has indicated that you want to edit out all of the performance segments first. So get all of the good parts of the performance that you want for your music video, cut out any, anything that doesn't belong there and any B-roll or any filler, go ahead, cut that out and then move it all the way to the end. This way you can create 
your music video and later bring in B-roll. And if there's not enough, you can always go to somewhere like Pixels to get something and add that in. This will save a lot of time in your editing. Another tip that I have received is when editing footage to sound, you want to have the footage just about a frame before the actual sound. This will create a better feel and combination between the image and the sound. Now this is completely up to you. So I highly suggest that you zoom in as much as possible and you actually play around and see frame by frame, which one you choose and which feels best for you. In this particular music video, I chose to do a cut at as many points where the wavelengths are very high, which was mostly a drum beat. How you do the cuts is going to depend on you and the storyline you are creating and the emotion you're trying to create with the music video. I also use transitions that are black in our effects tab because the music is a little darker and the videos it's themselves are also darker. So to try and maintain the emotion that the music is portraying, I chose to dip to black versus doing a cross dissolve or white. Now, regardless of what you're editing, it is suggested that if there's any color editing that you want to do, keep that to last. I didn't do any color editing yet on this video, except for at the very end, as everything is very dark, except for the clouds. This was a much lighter shot, so I actually added a little bit higher contrast. And so let me show you really quick what it looks like So you can see I actually added the breakpoints right before where we have the highest markers of the wavelengths. That worked for this particular music video and it helps maintain that feel and the emotion and the energy of the song. So it's very possible to create a music video using Adobe Premiere Rush, while most people in the videos that you will find on YouTube are going to be using Premiere Pro. Premiere Rush can be done on your phone. All of this that I have done can be done on my phone. So it allows you to create a music video on the fly, which is one of the things that I love about Adobe Rush. And as Adobe Rush is so user-friendly, that's, that's it for today. 